Step one, identify the contract with the customer. Now remember that you can use this page and add all of your relevant principles. I'm going to make use of our lecture notes. Guys, you need to ensure that you use your time effectively. You need to study this standard now with me. Now, IFRS 15 paragraph 9 indicates to us that when there is a contract, that that contract should be within the scope of IFRS 15 and should meet all of the following requirements. The first, the contract should be approved by all of the parties involved. Each party's right in terms of goods or services can be identified in the contract. The payment terms should be identified in our contract and the contract should have commercial substance. Now, what does it mean if a contract has commercial substance? In a business transaction, it is said that a contract will have commercial substance when it expects that the future cash flows of that entity will change due to the contract. Therefore, guys, when you refer to commercial substance, you need to think about future cash flows relating to that contract. Will the contract have an effect on the future cash flows of the entity? And then number five, is it probable that the entity will receive the consideration? Will the customer have the ability and intention to pay our entity?